Hey everybody, it's Rafi Azurb and I got another great lesson for you. And it's about one of the latest features in Foundation 6. So sometimes a designer or developer like yourself will actually need to print out a page or your website to show it to stakeholders and get buy-in. You know, paper. So what happens is, because Foundation is mobile first and responsive, you go to hit print and you get a mobile version of your website, which might be good but you also want to show maybe like the tablet size or the desktop size. So that's a lot harder because traditionally you'd have to create a print style sheet, you'd have to create another link in your page and then import that other style sheet just to print an example of your website. But Foundation 6 has that covered. We have a new feature in 6.3, which is print styles right in your settings file so you can actually choose what breakpoint to print from. So there's actually a lot of print styles built into Foundation to help control what shows and what doesn't show on your page that you print. And so a lot of this stuff is just behind the scenes, but I'm also gonna show you some of the controls that are built into Foundation to help you really get the results that you want. Let's check it out. Okay, so let's first take a look at how this would have been set up before this new feature came into Foundation 6. It came into Foundation 6.3 specifically. So before, we would have to create a print-specific style sheet that we would link to. So something like this, printstyles.scss, for example. You can name it whatever you want. And we would use this at media print media query to control the sizing of our elements on the page. So it would say at media print, find all these foundation size classes and give them these specific widths. And this would help uh, make sure that on a printer or when you're accessing a printer, that it would show these widths instead of the mobile styles. Okay, and then you would have to go into your pages, each individual page that you wanted to print. And then you would add another link here and you would go ahead and target that uh, new print style sheet that you just created. Right, so you would be basically doing this just so you can print a page. And that's a lot of work. And also, where do you find these print styles? You have to you know, come up with them yourself. There's a lot of print styles that are built into Foundation um, from the get-go. And now with Foundation 6.3, this new version comes out with something to simplify this whole process. So I'm gonna show you what that's like right now. So Foundation comes with a lot of print styling that is under the hood and something that just kind of works in the background. You don't need to worry about it too much. And it was derived from the HTML5 boilerplate and is part of Foundation by default. So. It takes care of things like resetting font colors when you're printing, removing shadows, and other visual elements that are not necessary when you're printing like glows. And it also optimizes page breaks. So making sure that your content actually fits on each page and is not split up in weird ways. And of course, things like image sizing and margins is also taken care of here. Now all this CSS comes from the print.scss file. So this is where all the uh, default mixins are created. You can see that there's also these classes that are included in the print style sheet. So show for print, hide for print, these are classes that you can use in your HTML to show and hide certain elements uh, when you're actually printing. So something you might use show for print or hide for print on is, uh, let's say an image carousel like Orbit. If you were showing 10 slides on an image carousel, you might not wanna do that for print because it would just show you 10 pictures stacked on top of each other. So that might be something you would hide for print and then uh, show for print, you might just choose one of those pictures and, and put the show for print class on it and show that instead. So we're gonna jump over to the new feature, which is in the settings file. So if we go to source, assets, SCSS, and then settings, 
we can scroll down to some of these global variables here. So one of them that's brand new is print hrefs. So you'll find that uh, here, so print hrefs is set to true by default. So when you are printing a page, it will actually show the hypertext reference. It will basically show the link inside of that uh, area. So somebody uh, that wants to see where that link goes to, they could see that in the printed page. If you want to remove that and only show the visual text there, then you can set this to false and save that. But the most powerful thing here is you can choose what breakpoint to print on. So let's take a look at this example here. So we have this print breakpoint variable here and it's set to large. So this means when we print this page, it's actually going to show the large breakpoint and we can change this to small or medium. Any of these named breakpoints up here will work. So what that means is, let's take a look at one of our sites. Okay, so we have our page here, and right now we're in the large breakpoint, as you can see. So if this is the view that we want to print, we'll go ahead and print and we'll get a preview of that. And as you can see, it is showing the large breakpoint, which is great. This is normally a lot harder, so we just had to change one variable. Now if we hop back over to our code, let's change this down to medium. So we'll save that and let it compile. So now, if we take a look at our medium breakpoint, it's going to look pretty similar. Things just shrink down a little bit. So we haven't changed too much. So we'll go ahead and print. And we'll take a look. And sure enough, it's just a little bit more compressed, but uh, we do have our medium layout here. Okay, and then we'll hop back over and now we'll set this to small. Okay, so now we should definitely see a big difference because it's going to be on the small breakpoint, which is for like a mobile device. So if we shrink this down to a small breakpoint. You can see that we've now converted into the hamburger icon. These things are stacked and we're down to three blocks here. So. Let's go ahead and hit print and see that that has now translated. Well, there you go. So what happens is this is now on a mobile screen. You can see that there are some elements that uh, translate just as expected, and then there's some that don't. So when you're printing things like menus, especially responsive menus, tend to print as lists like this. So this might be a use case for some of those visibility classes built into foundation that will help you hide these because they're not going to be necessary in this specific view. So you can use those uh, print specific styles. Uh, we'll go ahead and set one up on this. So if we hop over to our HTML real quick, I'll show you an example. So we want to hide this menu system basically on the small breakpoint. So we'll go ahead and add a hide for print class and make sure we get the dashes in there. Save that. Let that compile, which it already has. And now we'll hit print again and see that that navigation is hidden. So that's uh, one way to set up your print style sheets. It's a lot faster now with this new feature in Foundation 6 that allows you to use the settings file to choose what breakpoint you're printing on. So this is really going to speed things up for you. You don't have to make uh, custom style sheets anymore uh, just for print, and you don't have to link them up in your document just to print something. So uh, you can use that and uh, show off your designs much faster through the printer.
All right, so you can see that in a paperless world, sometimes you still need to print on actual paper and foundation has your print styles covered. So I hope you guys love these videos. We're putting out new ones every week. Make sure you hit subscribe so the Yeti can buy a new printer. And we'll see you next week for another great lesson.